Hello Upstreet and welcome back to our online worship in your home. Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are healthy. And hey, if this is your first time here, I really hope it's not your last. Thanks for joining us and I hope that you guys are blessed during this online worship. Now, for the month of May, we've been learning about the word determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So boys and girls, let's continue to live a life of determination, never give up, and always keep going. And so with that said, let's get ready for worship. Hey, welcome back everyone. I hope you had a fun time of worship. Now, in the month of May, we're going to continue learning about determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So now, we're going to take some time learning about a Bible story from Acts chapter 3 and 4. So let's check it out. So, one day, two of Jesus' disciples named Peter and John were walking towards the temple to pray. And it was around uh, 3 p.m. And at the entrance of the temple, there was a beggar who was crippled. So he wasn't able to walk and he asked them for money. And so Peter and John looked at this beggar and this is what Peter said. He said, hey, look, I don't have any money to give you, but I can give you what I have. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to stand up and to start walking. You see, through the power of the Holy Spirit, Peter healed this crippled man. And when the crippled man found out that he was healed and that he was able to walk, this guy was happy. He was ecstatic that he began to jump for joy and he began to praise God. And because he was so excited, he began to cause a scene and draw this huge crowd around him. Peter could have easily said that he did everything by his own power and his own will. But he didn't. He took this opportunity to tell everyone that God can do what seems impossible, such as healing a crippled man. And so Peter gave God all the glory. And you see, everyone was amazed at Peter's teaching, but uh, there were some people who were not so happy about it. You see, when the religious leaders found out what Peter had did, they were angry. And so this is what they did. They took Peter and John and they threw them into jail. Yeah, that's messed up. So they continued to question Peter and John and they wanted to know how they were able to perform that miraculous healing. And here's the thing, if Peter and John told the truth that God did all the healing, then they could be in jail forever. And so I guess we could say that Peter and John were in a very sticky situation. So what did they do? Peter decided to be bold and courageous, and this was what he said. He said, It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. And then check this out. Peter says this in two verses later in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, and he said, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. That's a bold statement. And the religious leaders saw how courageous Peter and John were and there was nothing that they could do and so they released them from prison and they warned them to never speak about Jesus again but we know that did not stop them in fact Peter and John told people about Jesus even more and so boys and girls here's the bottom line for today are you guys ready and it's this keep going even when it gets tough keep going even when it gets tough keep going even when it gets tough. Keep going, 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 even when it gets tough. 
And so boys and girls, sometimes we're gonna be placed in very difficult situations. Just as how Peter and John were thrown into jail for their faith, we will be placed in very difficult situations. Sometimes we're gonna feel like we're wrong. Sometimes we feel like life is unfair, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, it will give us the strength and the determination to keep going even when it is tough. And boys and girls, I know that we're living in this strange time. Coronavirus has affected your life, it has affected my life, and sometimes staying at home can be very difficult. We feel isolated, we feel like we can't do anything, we feel like we're stuck. But may you remember that you are not alone and that through the power of the Holy Spirit, it will give you the strength to keep going even when things are tough. All right, everyone, let's end with our memory verse, which comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, and it says this, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And with that said, Pastor Tim out. Did you... Did I just come down a slide? Backwards? Yeah, that's not fun. Not one bit. Yeah, don't do that at home. But it's because I forgot to do this. Hey, can you guys remind me next time to wash my hands? Because, uh, you know, stuff like this, you know, it's not fun. So, uh, you know, let me know. Okay, remind me. Okay. And with that said, Pastor Tim out. <laughs>